Good morning, welcome to Heart Rhythm TV. I'm delighted to welcome Dr. Shunmuga Ponusami from uh, India to talk to us about his abstract entitled Hierarchical Physiologic Pacing to Enhance Clinical Outcomes in Conduction System Pacing. Welcome to Heart Rhythm TV, sir. Thank you. Uh, good morning, everyone. So, uh, I'm going to discuss uh, about our uh, CT-based study. The study was designed to know the level of uh, uh, disease within the conduction system and uh, positioning of the lead within the conduction system. So we tried doing a CT angiography. We reconstructed the anatomy of conduction system fibers based on fixed anatomical landmarks. We tried to localize the lead tip within the conduction system and classified them into uh, left bundle pacing, fascicular pacing and septal pacing. The patient included were those with a bradycardia indication for pacing as well as a CRT indications for pacing. So we categorized them into a low EEF group and high EEF group. We basically measured two important measurements from the CT. One is the distance between the his bundle and the lead tip. The second one is the distance between the lead tip and the LV endocardium. So what we got was the shorter the distance between the his bundle and the lead tip, and shorter the distance between the lead tip and the endocardium, better the clinical outcomes. So both in patients with uh, uh, left bundle pacing and fascicular pacing, the LH distance between the his and lead tip was shorter, and LE distance was closer to the LV endocardium. In uh, septal pacing, the leads were far away from the his bundle, and majority of the times it was getting deployed in the mid septum, well away from the LV endocardium. So the idea is to deploy the lead as high as possible in the conduction system, uh, better in the proximal trunk, ideally in the his bundle, which we are not doing it now, and deep inside the septum to reach the LV endocardium to catch the endocardial fibers. So this is a retrospective uh, data. We're going to use it prospectively to reconstruct the anatomy, merge it with the fluoro, so that that reconstructed anatomy will guide us in deploying the lead in the right area. You want to deploy in the left trunk, you can put it. If you want to deploy in the fascicles, you can put it. And even we have tried in uh, Backman bundle, where the anatomy will be created, and you can map just behind the aortic shadow to get into the Backman bundle. Fantastic work, fascinating stuff. How easy is it to visualize the cardiac conduction system with a CT scan? Yeah, so this all this uh, uh, visualization is based on uh, fixed anatomical landmark. So we know where exactly the AV node will be. It will be in the floor of the Cox triangle. And we know where the penetrating portion of his bundle will go. It goes well inside the fibrous skeleton of SCAR. Emerges out of uh, uh, just below the right coronary cusp and non-coronary cusp junction. Mm. And then it flows down as a left bundle fibers. Mm. And we know the fibers from uh, the left bundle will go into the anterolateral papillary muscle as an anterior fascicle and posteromedial papillary muscle as a posterior fascicle. And in between, you will have septal fascicle, which innervates the myocardium. It's all recreated anatomy. And uh, we, we as a, as a preclinical work, uh, we did a small uh, uh, comparison study of uh, electrogram-guided uh, com confirmation of capture and CT-guided confirmation of capture. The correlation was more than 95 percentage. Wow. And so your plans in the future are to do a prospective study exactly. where you do the CT scan ahead of time and try to target the proximal conduction system. Exactly. So you're going to navigate, just like doing a 3D mapping for arrhythmia, you'll be having a 3D reconstructed anatomy of conduction system will merge into your fluoro screen. So you, all you have to do is see the fiber, see the bundle, reconstructed bundle, and deploy the lead. Fantastic. Well, fascinating work. Congratulations on a wonderful abstract. Taking us back to the HIS. I appreciate it. Yeah, thank, thank you. you. Thank you. Thank you very much.